So I asked my subscribers, who do they want to see me cover in my tight beat tutorials? And one of the most overwhelming answers was Baby Tron. So let's make a beat for him right now. Okay, so when I think about Baby Tron, I think pianos that are like really bouncy. Not necessarily like notes going up, but like bouncy chords. So I kind of want to do something like that. So let's just get like a pattern down real quick and then we can get like a, a good preset. Not saying that this is a good preset. So we can start with like a little triad, get a little bounce going. So when I think of Baby Tron, I think of like stuff like this. Like little bouncy things like that. So let's try to sauce up these chords right here so they don't sound like too, too basic. You know what I mean? Maybe we can like take these, like bring them up an octave. Okay, okay, okay. We kind of getting somewhere now. We kind of getting somewhere now. Mmm, I like that. Maybe let's take these, bring it down an octave. Uh, yeah, maybe we could take that and just like copy it over. Just make it like super repetitive. And then we can like change it on the end right here. Maybe we could like take these and like switch them. So it'll go like. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I kind of like that more. Let's throw some reverb on here real quick. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We need to. We need to add the. You feel me? Wait. Where is it? 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 Come on. Quit playing with me, bruh. So when I use like tubular belt one shots, I like putting on stretch mode and turn off the loop points. I'm also gonna throw some delay on this real quick. Throw some reverb on it too. Just put it on like the one like that. Would that be crazy if I did that? Now I feel like with this, we can just go like literally like a two step or I guess like one step or whatever it's called. Whatever, whenever you do this, just do something like this. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Unky in the chat, uh, wait. Unky in the, <laughs> turning into Y and J. I've noticed that like with like a lot of Detroit and Flint stuff, like their hi-hats are like way more like, not high pitch, but like there's almost no low end in them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out an EQ and I'm gonna do like a, a low cut and then just like literally go all the way up here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm getting excited, bro. Let's just throw the 808 right now. We can literally just follow like the pattern like this right here. Oh, wait, we need to add like the little snare thing. We need to add the snare thing. Uh, What is it called? Yeah, I think it's this one right here. Boom, 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 boom. But then on the last one, we go boom instead. Can I put it on E? Oh, it sounds good on E though. It sounds good kind of pitched up. Hold up. Uh, hold up. Yeah, I need I need me one of these. Man, they hold up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This already slaps. Just to make everything sound a little bit more full. Let's go into analog lab. Let's get a pad real quick and just like layer the chords. I don't want to go too complex with like the melody and everything like that. I want this to be like relatively like a simple beat. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna use West Coast Magic 3 because I really like the pads in here, bro. And if you want to use the pads in West Coast Magic 3, you can get it right now on gatekeepsounds.com. You feel me? All right, so let's check out some of the pads real quick, bro. That's hard. Not gonna lie, it might have to be fantasies. That is a great pad. So I'm just gonna do like simple triads because we're just trying to, we're just trying to layer right here. I might just do a little extra, you feel me? To be extra, but for the most part, we're just gonna be on some, uh, just to give it a little bit of like difference. And just do it like that. Cause this is really just made to just layer. <laughs> down make it wider maybe make it a little bit more ambient with some reverb yeah 
Mwah. All right, bro, that's hella cringe. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, let's throw some open hats on. With Detroit stuff, you low-key have to, like, ignore general mixing tools because sometimes they just want their shit to slap, bro. Sometimes you just gotta get ignorant with the 808s and, like, the open hats and, the, the, like, with the mixing because sometimes you, they just need it to slap. <laughs> Like normally I wouldn't put the open hats that loud, but like it just helps everything slap harder. Ooh, what if we did like a, a rim shot roll? Oh yeah, I wanted to sauce up the 808s too. So I just threw this down just to like catch a vibe, you feel me? Bump, bump, something like that. Oh, what if we made like the 808s like more complicated as it progresses? Yeah, let's do that. That'd be fire. Maybe we can just copy this over and then just like build off of it. That's hard. And if you really want them to get bouncy like how they got them, go to the magnet tool right here and go on the one half step and just like experiment with like which ones you throw them on, bro. I promise you it'll, it'll, it'll work out, bro. But this one, let's go like, let's go up to it instead. And then maybe like do a double hit. Maybe something like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's pretty hard, pretty hard. Hold up, Billy. And if you didn't notice, with the 808, I did not do anything to make it slap. And that's because it already comes like that straight out the box. If you didn't know, this is the Anomaly 808 that is in the Multiverse drum kit. It's basically a boosted spins 808. I boosted it perfectly to how I like my 808s to hit. So when I'm making beats, you can see I didn't have to do any processing on the 808s. I literally just threw them down and that's it. But uh, yeah, with that being said, this 808 is in the Multiverse drum kit. It's one of the best drum kits I ever put. Out. I highly recommend y'all get it if y'all need some drum sounds. You feel me? All right, let's add some strings in here real quick, bro. That's great. First preset. Well, maybe we go like octaves. And then we can just like go up one right here. Oh, oh, wait, 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 vocals. Vocals would be hard in here. Let's go into the legacy kit. I feel like this is just a giant promo video <laughs> for all of my stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Throw it on the mixer channel. And then I'm gonna use the Vox Mix 1 preset, which is in the legacy kit. Yeah. See, I didn't even need to do anything. That just already kind of sounds perfect. I, is there anything else I should add to this? Okay, maybe just like a couple like percussions and sound effects, but then that's probably it. Cause for the most part, this is already hard. Ooh, do Detroit people use reverse triangles? I don't know actually. It's hard. Ooh, let's try that one. Yeah, let's try to figure out a place for these lasers, bro. Also, I might just have these hit on C. I'm not the biggest fan of how they sound on E. Mmm, I like that. Oh, okay. Now I need, I'm like, I'm, I need like a, like a triangle, like a ding or something like that, bro. Ooh, this one right here. And then I'll just do it like on the snares, for like the last three. <laughs> yes, sir. I like that. I like that. What if we threw reverb on it? Uh, so this is what I've been doing for like my master chain recently. Did I put this in the legacy kit? I did. Okay, yeah. So maybe we could just do this. So this is what I've been doing for my master chain recently on my beats. It's just a fruity soft clipper right here, default settings, and then fruity parametric EQ, boosting up the highs, and then a little bit more of the like high mids. But like I said, this is a Detroit beat, so we're gonna kind of mess around with the mixing rules. I'm actually gonna boost up the low end a little bit, just a just a tiny bit, just so it slaps extra hard. So right now I'm changing it to only boost up from 47 hertz and above maybe maybe let's go like 55 or like 56 that's usually where you get that like that boomy feeling in the car or like you can feel like the 808 in your chest pause <laughs> in your chest bruh i'm gonna do just like a slight boost just the the, the slightest boost <laughs> What it do? Uh, 
Yeah, that concludes the video. We're done. We don't need to do anything else. It slaps. I'm done. I'm done. I'm taking the headphones off. Just so y'all know, I'm for surely done. So with that being said, so with that being said, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you want to comment, throw a comment. If you want to sub, hit the sub. And also, if you do need drum kits, analog lab banks, loop kits, any type of sound kits, really, gatekeepsounds.com will be the first link in the description. Go get a kit and support your boy. You feel me?